Wow, 65 damage. Raul is going to go down. Who hit that? Kotis Arch. Fuck off, Kotis Arch. You're like level fucking. Oh, you're level 11. I was going to say you're level 9, but you're level 11. Okay. All right, carry on. Carry on. False alarm. Right, so we have healed up and we have reduced some of this uh, charisma and constitution damages. So let's go up to the Citadel's command, possibly to the boss room. I kind of actually forgot what we're doing here. Oh, yeah, we're looking for Stalton Vane and that eyeless bitch. Min Minigo? The demon? Min Minigo? I think that's that. Okay, so far so good. I should probably stealth her as well, actually. That might help. This takes so long to get around like this. There's a door there, big door as well. Might be a boss room door. Oh, who's this pretty little thing? Our fiend, Furious Bidator. Your will is low. I think I may sleep you. Where are you mean to poison? Yeah, you are, okay. I haven't used Thinking Cloud in ages. Okay, so let's move you up. Let's grab Ember as well and move you up for a sec. You can stand there. Uh, read your, put rage on you because I'll probably forget. Do I need to do anything else? Uh, no, nah, I think I'm good. Is Raul fully healed? Yeah, Raul's fully healed, okay. Yeah, I think I'm good. Okay. So, Ember, let's do this. Sleep him, Ember. Sleep him like you never slept someone before. Oh, nice, that actually worked. She heard me. Oh, Calavacris, the STD. I don't think I fought him before. I think I shot him from above at one point, but I never actually faced him in Mortal Kombat. Um, yeah, it looks pretty standard, means poison. Yep, yeah, he's a demon. Cool. Uh, AC is fairly average. Touch is low. Cool. Cool, cool. Um, let's grab my main character. Whoa, initiative very low on that. What's going on there? Do you want to be touched by a scorching ray? Try to see if there's anything better I can do before I cast this. Uh, pff, nah, I don't think so. Let's go for it. Let's go for a scorching ray. Well, you have to be pretty close to that. Oh, there's another STD here. Shit, there's tons of STDs everywhere. Okay. Um... No, I'll hold back a bit. I'll hold back a bit. I'll wait. There might be more coming. Um, send you up, send you up. You, you, and you. Go for that. Don't know what to do. You have time. Do you there. Is everyone still stealthed? Yeah. Let's take that off. Okay, that's better. Okay, so in the back we've got Kota's Archer. Okay. Oh, I've got a Voker as well. Oh, Christ. Lan, 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 hello, you pretty little thing. Move you up a sec. Let's put on some resist fire. Is that cast something already or not? I can't tell. I could actually snipe him, but the STDs are coming pretty close. Um, wait, who hasn't had a turn yet? Ember, you can actually do something else, can't you? Should we fight fire with fire since nothing's immune to me anymore? Because I have Ascendant and Elementa. Yeah, why not? Okay, fireball being cast out that way. Oh no. Oh no. No, no, no. Stop it. I'll call it all okay. Uh, lands cast the thingy on everyone, so. Wow, 65 damage. Raul is going to go down. Who hit that? Kotis Arch, fuck off Kotis Arch, you're like level fucking, oh you're level 11, so I say you're level 9, but you're level 11, okay. Alright, okay, carry on, carry on, false alarm. But still, fuck off Kotis Arch, what the hell are you doing killing him like that? Jesus Christ, that's micro, you not that way, fuck, micro, ember over here. I've actually got a turn. Should we stink them out? Wait, are you guys immune to poison as well? No, you're not. I think you want to be stunk out. Yeah, we can just place that like there. We've got delayed poison up already, haven't we? Yeah, we have. Hey, okay, you got knocked down. That's good. They're all shooting that. That's good as well. I need to try and get a heal and roll. I don't think it's going to get off in time, though. Go off in time. Get off in time? I don't know. Words. Okay, that's dead. 120 from what? Who healed 120? He did before he died. Okay. Let's go for that. Grab Team Archer. Shoot this. I, I could send this in to them. Have you got Delay Poison on? My little Triceratops. Yes, you do. Okay, let's just send that in. Um, 
Oh, you don't have a charge move bar. That's tragic. That's how much I think of you. And you got power attack on as well. Jesus Christ, what's your, eight? What's your attack? Seven. And you got power attack on. Yeah, that's pretty pretty tragic. Uh, put defensive stance on you as well. See if I can make you survive a bit longer. Let's charge you over there. Okay, stinking glass cloud went off. Should have done a number on them. Oh, Raul survived as well. Why am I so close? I think I'm in range of this. Can I see what his, what his range is? He's got a bite, melee attack. Uh, let's double check. Where does it say the range? I swear I saw it before. I've, I've seen, I've definitely seen the range of stuff before. Two feet. All right, I'm good. I'm good. I can move. I can move. <laughs> Can't touch me. All right, Camilla, pop that. Let's go in and start smacking that as well. Where is Regal? Are you on something? Yes, you are. So small. Team Archer is definitely attacking something, aren't they? Yes. Okay. So Stinking Cloud plus the Triceratop. Should be able to do that. Damn, they hit really hard, don't they? That's crazy. When do you come back up, actually? 45 seconds. Right, I've got time to kill this uh, Evoker. Stinking Cloud's so strong when it actually works. <laughs> Camilla? Go for their hearts. Uh, Regal. This one's mine. You, you, and the Archer. Endure Ember this. go for another serious healing onto Raul. Um... I can fire around and fireball from them. They're not immune to fire, are they? Maybe the Evoker. Which one's the Evoker again? That one. Yeah, I feel good. All right, let's uh, push you off a tiny bit. These fireballs come from my staff, so I don't really fuss about using them. Make sure we don't hit them in at all. Is this going to be dangerous? Am I in danger? No, I'm not. Okay. Let's go for that one next. Rejoin to that. Try save tops into this. I forgot who else we're using now. Oh yeah, you guys, yeah. You, you, and this guy over here. Onto that. How did you get up? Did I hit you or something? Regal, maybe? You shouldn't have been up for like another 30 seconds. I, really, I actually really want to know what hit him, like... Oh, you do cleaving damage now, don't you? You woke him up. Shit, okay, I need to be careful with the new AOE effects I've got. Okay, you can handle that. Come along to this as well. Emma's about to get smacked the fuck up. I should have just fireballed him anyway. Bloody hell! 117? Where is, where is that 117? Let me, where is that? What the fuck? The, you're not even facing me! What the hell? Whoa. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. Okay. Um, trying to see what kind of position I got here. Not very good ones. Let's go for another random fireball into these guys here. I'm gonna get really close here though. Okay, you guys are taking that down pretty fast. The We're just gonna die in a second. Ember needs to heal something. I can't get close to the Minotaur's blocking my way now. Um, random fireball doom. Random fireball doom. Wait. Yes. Random fireball doom! Times two! That's down. Team Archers. Onto that. Rigil charge that. We all can charge that as well. Camilla can also charge that. That should go down pretty damn fast. Where's that random skeleton archer? Take that as well. Do I really have to come on? Make every strike count. There we go. Just waiting for the melee to kill it, but it's taking too long. I was like, fuck it. Fuck it. Right, let's look this up. Let's grab that. Masterwork. Masterwork, 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 masterwork. Yeah, it's all masterwork, okay. I'm getting used to what the loot's gonna be now. I'm getting way faster at looting. <laughs> looting the shit I pick up. Grab this. So we go to the left or to the right. 
The right's big doors. Probably leads to a boss room. Left probably going to be like a mini boss kind of thing. I need to heal up first before we do anything else. Because everyone's gotten very low. Okay, so we have healed up. Let's carry on going. Ooh, chess. Save the last one oh my god. What the level are these guys? Level 5, alright. Nothing. And nothing. Why are you guys even in here? You're like, fooling around on this bed? What are you doing? Silly demons. Alright, let's loot them. Moss works? Yeah. And over here we got two chests that I can't open. Mimics? I swear I could open them a second ago. Let's check out the bed. The room looks a little cleaner than the rest of the fortress. It's probably the warden's bedroom. So what? Look. Why am I walking through the chest? Why can't... I swear I could loot them a second ago, honestly. Did they not just highlight? What is the point in this room? Always There's actually nothing in there. Back. What a load of rubbish! Okay. Okay, so we're outside the big door. Let's open this bad boy up. Okay, can I take a little peek before I walk in? Just to see. Okay, run back, run back, run back, run back. Okay, right, that's definitely Stalton and that eyeless bitch. Okay, so we're gonna buff up a bit here. Uh, I might do all the fortunes and protective locks and everything else. I don't actually have that many spells on me. Um, we'll see how it goes about resting first. Right, so I cast out two skeletal armies. I've got haste on. I've buffed up massively with fortune to two minutes, 20 seconds. And I've also put on protective luck for about two minutes as well onto all the melee. Uh, so we can actually stop them from being hit. Because as you can see, whenever that creature is targeted by an effect that requires an attack row, including weapon attacks, the attacker must row twice and take the worst results. And I've also got fortune on there as well, which causes the target to re-roll any ability checks as well and all that kind of thing. Right, so let's go in and see what happens when we talk to Stalton and that bitch. Let's run, sweetie. Let's go. Why are you so slow? They're almost here. I'm not going anywhere. The door's cracked voice sounds like raspy, rusty metal. Don't you feel it? She's got that damn rag with her. I can't teleport. She's going to kill us. <laughs> She's scared. If she kills us, then so be it. But this is my city. And I will fight for it to the end. And you, my love. Stolten grasps the chin of... Oh. Stalton grasps the chin of Demoness, sinking his nails into her tender skin and pulls her face towards his, kissing her lips quickly before pushing her away. You will be with me till the end, he says. This dwarf is a true knight, and that's why he is beyond saving. A demoness knows how to turn a person's good nature against itself. She did it deliberately, knowing that his sense of honor would be his downfall. I have also done this. No one cares. Who let this mangy rat out of its cage? <laughs> you made her a member of your party. The succubus whore found a way to betray even the abyss. And you believe she'll be loyal to you? Nah, probably not. Monago, my jailer, my torturer. You think I mean to do them harm? That she will suffer if I stand at her side? If that were true, why then would you try so hard to persuade her to cast me out? <laughs> Hello, Monago. Greetings, Mr. Misery Guts. It's us again. Right, so here are the choices. We've got Stalton, Nothless Madness. It's not too late to come back to the side of good. Lawful, you escaped justice for too long, Stalton Vain, but today you will pay for your crimes. Chaotic, you seem to enjoy blaming others for your problems, Stalton, but you alone have forged your destiny and become a traitor twice over. Evil, I wanted to kill you for a long time. Vain, don't expect mercy. Tell me, Stalton, why? Why are you fighting the side of demons? Aren't you getting tired of fleeing from me, Monago? <laughs> Monago, what's that in your face? I see you're quite... <laughs> I see you're quite gathering cows and traitors here. Even Norris showed up. <laughs> oh, God. Um, I quite like this one, to be fair. Um, I mean, I don't have to pick the evil stuff I don't want to. So I'm just going to, yeah, pick this. Sounds quite funny. You think I'd miss the chance to see Staunton wipe that grin off your smug face? Oh, what a bitch. For years, you self-appointed champions of good have treated us like dirt beneath your feet. If the demons will help us get our revenge, then we're with the demons. Malago, what's that on your face? <sighs> That's not your concern, mortal. <laughs> I don't see anything on her face. The master has punished her cruelly for her failure in Canabras. <laughs> As you can see, 
The leaders of the demons are as patient with their slaves as the crusaders are with their commanders. <laughs> Sweetie, why are you telling her this? What does it matter? Quiet. Sultan's voice holds no emotion whatsoever, except perhaps weariness. The word that fell from his lips barely echoes, but nonetheless, the demon immediately falls silent. Right, aren't you getting tired of fleeing from me, Monago? You have no idea how tired I am of you, mortal. But never mind. Today, we will finally be done with you. Right, Staunton? Right, sweetie? <laughs> <laughs> the demon's laughter is short on that, so I probably didn't have to read that out. You know, I once heard a peasant trying to convince his sick sheep to overcome her constipation and share her impacted torrent of crap with the rest of the world. The sheep was obviously very dear to the peasant, and he cooed and called her lambkin and darling as he described the process in graphic detail, apparently to inspire the beast. Well, listening to that wasn't half as stomach-churning as listening to your filthy demon mouth spewing honeys and sweeties all over the place. Ugh. Yeah, very true. Um... Uh, tell me, Sultan, why do you fight on the side of the You have the audacity to ask me that? I fight on this side because the other side didn't give me a chance. Yes, I made a terrible mistake and Dresden fell to the demons. The Queen should have had me hanged. I deserved it. But she found a far worse punishment for me. False mercy. That's deep. They touched my soul. When she spared me that day, she said she wanted to give me a chance to make amends. <laughs> and I believed her. For 70 years, I've crawled on my knees, shedding my blood for Mendev. Only been spat in the face for it. For 70 years, I watched generations of crusaders grow old and die. Never once changing their tune about Staunton the traitor. I do feel kind of sorry for him. What else could I give for my mistake? What more punishment could I suffer? How, oh, how could I ever deserve forgiveness? And one day, I realized there's nothing I can do. The queen had doomed me to a lifetime of humiliation. When I grew desperate, I only had two choices. To become my own executioner and carry out the sentence she rescinded that day. Or go over to the other side. Yeah. Put yourself in my place. Imagine yourself in that position. What would you choose? To become the king. I don't know. I haven't had a particularly nice time either in the River City. First there was the fire. Then there were lots of other things. But I'm not angry at the people. I know they didn't do it out of malice. Hmm. I am thoroughly sick of all this nonsense about good people. Does your charred little brain have any inkling of what's occurring around you? Allow me to enlighten you. The good person standing before you is personally responsible for the excruciating deaths of dozens of soldiers. The same soldiers for whom you claim to care so dearly. And you are still dim-witted enough to call him good? <laughs> oh, girl. I should have followed your example dozens of years ago and found shelter in blissful madness. Maybe a feeble-minded beggar with no name and no memory would have been happier than the condemned traitor Staunton Vane. But now it's too late for that too. Right, so my choice is literally between lawful and evil now, or attack. Um, I want to kill you for a long time, Vane. Don't expect mercy. Of course. I regret nothing. But I'm ready to pay my dues. What about you? Are you ready to pay for everything you've done in the name of your pathetic queen? That's not in the script. That is not in the script, Stalton. You're supposed to say only one of us will leave this room alive. You've gone off script. I don't like it. Definitely dead now. Right. No point in waiting.
wasting time talking. To arms! To arms! Staunton, darling. <laughs> Stop whining! Didn't you swear your eternal love to me? Promised we'd rule Dresden together? Now shut your lying <laughs> mouth and fight! Whatever <laughs> end fate has in store for me, you will share it! <laughs> Close ranks. Alright, let's have a look. Oh, it's fucking gnomes in the fight as well. I forgot about that. Level 11 bard, really? What are you, Stalton? Level 16 war priest. Okay. That's quite dangerous. Uh, just have a quick look at his... He doesn't look that strong, actually. And you? You are a beast. So, we're going to go for Stalton first, I think. Then the bard. And then Manigo. Her uh, spell resistance is massive. 56. Really good AC. Really good will. Really good reflex. Fortune's on the low side ish for her level. She level 28. Touch is low as well. She's pretty much immune to everything you can think of. Can I open this up? Yeah. Permanent, 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 permanent. Okay. Yeah, pretty much immune to everything. Let's check out Stalton really quick. Okay, yeah, Stalton's AC is relatively low compared to what I've been facing, and his reflex is bad. He can go down like a sack of shit if he's uh, not immune to prone. Poison death bridge is called damage drain. Negative, yeah, yeah, grapple, paralyzed, entangle, slowed, immobilized, petrified. He can actually fall, he can go prone, he's not immune to it. So maybe I can throw that down on him with grease, possibly. Um, what's his fortitude like? I forgot. Fortitude 22. His reflex is what I want to hit, and his touch, touch slow. Okay. And he's immune to poison as well, I completely forgot to check that. Yes he is, okay, let's check out the gnome, Nura. Right, so Nura, Chaosic Neutral, 11 Bard. Barely any speed on her. Um, AC is pretty low compared to what I've been facing recently. Fortitude's low as well. So her fortitude is her weakness, pretty much. Can I move this? There we go. Um, so I can smash her with a bone shatter, probably. Uh, means poison as well. Everything's means fucking poison, isn't it? Okay, right. Dodge of Doom on there. Okay, so let's do this tactically. Everyone's gonna block that door. Okay, so right on to that. You're casting negative living uh, channel. Read your. Should have probably cast that before I went in. Are these all chaotic? Neutral. Chaotic. Chaotic. Yeah, I could have literally done two there. Is not an option. All right, Lan. I think I might even use a guarded hearth here. It might be a bit overkill. But if I get that off, it'd be pretty damn strong. Let's do it. Wait. Put it there, can I? Yeah. Three seconds. So this is really strong. At eight level, you create a ward that protects a specified area. Creating this ward is a full round action. All friendly creatures in the area receive a sacred bonus equal to a wisdom modifier on all saving throws and attack throws while inside the warded area. The ward lasts for one hour per level in the class that gave you access to its domain. You can use this ability once per day. Right, stamp down there. We shouldn't have to move too much. Let's go to Marksman onto that. So we'll go for the door first. Stop his melee crap. Uh, Camilla can pop that. I'll cut go you in. Wide open. Uh, I need to move you so I don't block the door. Did I even cast cast up with you? Can't remember. I've got to put on sense vitals. Let's put you over there. Uh, Lan's doing that shit. That skeleton marksman. Probably just shoot where he is. I move though while I've still got time. I move Lan as well. Actually, I just realised because Lan's got two point eight seconds before he can do anything. Are you mean to sleep? I just need to check that. You're not mean to sleep, but you're always high, isn't it? Fairly high, not that high. And you are definitely mean to sleep, you mean to like everything. No, maybe you're not. No, you're not. But your will's 28, I don't think I'm hitting that anytime soon. Uh, okay, let's run Ember over here. Let's go. Okay, so Ember's there. Great invisibility. Or is that Phantasmal Killer? I think it's great invisibility. Okay, let's introduce AC instead, actually. Yeah. Start all casting out on him. Let's try and get down really fast. You can start shooting. Land, you're gonna do that thingy I want you to do back here. You can start shooting as well. I will resist. 
Camilla's going in. The spirits demand your blood. You're on that. You're on that as well. Where is my main? What else is in here? I can put the Triceratops onto the gnome if it makes it. Okay, bring my gnome. My gnome? <laughs> bring my main in here. What do I get hit by there? I don't even know. Do I have Archon on? No, I think it's run out. Damn, that's not something I should have casted. No, it's actually on 51 seconds. Yeah, he's going down really fast. Right, what was I going to do to him again? Oh, I was going to try and grease, wasn't I, on top of everyone? Reflex 27, she's gone invisible. Um, I can grease or I can start blasting it down really fast. This touch is so low. Should I go for longer timidity or instant? I think I'll go for instant. Yeah. Let's do it. That one's good there. Right. So we're down to cast this. Minus three wisdom on everyone. Shit. Come on, get it off land, please. Get it off land. Cut scene, okay. So I guess that's Stalton's death. What? There's a panic on Manigo's blood splash face. Her lips are trembling. No, my dear. You are. You will either fight to the bitter end, or I'll break your delicate little neck myself with these very hands. <laughs> He's crazy. Are you threatening me, my mortal toy? Me? And with what? With the power I gave you, you ungrateful beast! Demon's mouth trembling with fear opens wide and a hysterical grin like a wound on her face. Oh. Give me back what's mine. Take him, he's yours. And Dresden too. I don't care about this fortress or this half-wit. Aw, poor guy. Menago strikes out her hand. A crimson spark flies out Stalton's eyes and plants itself into her palm. Stalton frees is stunned. He's silently moving his lips, which have turned grey in a flash. Like a fish out of water, Demon turns to you. Oh, I grow so tired of you mortals. Your humdrum little passions. Your constant squabbling. Your incessant accusations and excuses. You treat each other like dirt. Push weaklings like these two into our arms. To accuse us. Come on, punish your traitors. I've seen this show countless times. The demon points at Stalton and Nora. So good, this is what happens to those who believe the demon's promises. Chaotic, where are you going? The fun is just starting. Evil, thank you for your help, but you don't think this is going to save you, do you? Evil! I will save myself. <laughs> God. Take your filthy rag. Take your befouled ruins. You can make soup out of this moron for all I care. I've had enough war. We really two were created for tenderness and love. <laughs> Stay away from me with your swords and shields. Oh, what coward. What now? I can't just run away. This to be my feet. I've been betrayed by people and demons alike. Now my life really is worth nothing. But that doesn't mean you won't pay for it dearly. Come on, you scumbag. Kill me if you can. I don't care anymore. He looks at you and the sorrow in his eyes gives way to hatred. Good, enough of this insanity. Lay down your weapon stalls and come back to us. You've been treated unfairly, but we can make things right. Too bad Queen Graffrey didn't hang you back then. You think I can't kill you? Free? I suspect you can. I'll make you work for it. Yeah, right. Let's get this over with. Two arms. <laughs> like, he's on 1 HP. What's happening now? Oh, we're still fighting. Okay, cool. So after all that, buffing, she just fucking runs. Don't heal up, you bastard. And who's some of these guys? Oh, I fucking pushed him across the room. 
That was sick. Oh, I loved it. I fucking loved it. Get on that. Where is this stupid, stupid, stupid gnome? Where is she? Is she even in the room anymore? Your pain is my I think that just got killed by something. I have no idea what. Uh, Alright, here we go. I am coming, Lady Death. Forgive me for being 70 years late for our day. Ah, I hate being stood up. This evil gnome is somewhere here doing stuff. I can hear her in this direction. Did I even get that cast off? No, he never did. But I didn't even need it. Come on, no, you're gonna die. You're not gonna be us all. <sighs> oh, fuck's sake. Do I really have to do this? There we go, she's out. Jesus Christ. Right, let's charge. <laughs> charge. Roll is. Roll dead? Whoa, Roll's actually dead. Okay. Um, shoot. You crossed the wrong mongrel. Shoot. Desna, guide my hand. Um, what was your weakness again? Everything, pretty much. Fortitude, there we go. Uh, AC. Too late for apologies. Make sure it's AC. Marksman. Yeah, you can go on that as well. I'll wait till I reset. Yes. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> That is so satisfying, just watching it instantly like that. Stupid little bitch. Ouch, why did I get into this fight? I knew I couldn't handle it. Are you running away? Oh. Breathing heavily, Nera stands up and wipes her bloody hands on her clothes. Well, what are you waiting for, you scum? Why do I keep getting called scum? I'm not scum. I'm a lich. Come on, finish me off. Kill me like you killed Stalton and be glad you defeated the villains. I just make sure you don't wonder whose fault it was at that he and I was on Demon's side. Thoughts like that can make you lose your appetite. Another tearful performance. Everyone is guilty but me. <laughs> I lost count of how many of you innocents I've sent to the chopping block. They should have been executed just for denying their responsibility, never mind all the other crimes. I understand your pain, hatred and anger. I stuck those feelings in the mortals. I convinced them that the whole world was to blame for their troubles and that only demons could help them get revenge. It was a lie. Whatever your demon seducers told you, it was a lie. Your real friends are your fellow mortals. Oh, God, she's quite self-righteous, isn't she? It's a shame that she's such a good archer. Who is this, a succubus, and let her into your party? Ha, yeah, well then, I can die a peaceful death. You won't last long. Why did you betray me, Nora? I want to know the truth. What will it do if I let you go? Good. It's not too late to return to our side. Help me destroy the demons. Lawful, I will not kill you here. You'll be locked up, and I'll think about what to do with you. Chaotic. I'm going to turn around and count to three. When I turn back, I want you gone. Finish Nora off. You deserve this. Uh, see why she betrayed me. You want to know the truth? Her face cringes painfully. Here's the truth. I hate all of you. If I'd been there the day Urulu... Relish opened a rift to the abyss. I would have gladly handed her the ingredients for the ritual. I put the pheromone soaked cloth in your pocket. I wanted a tail box to eat your smug face off. I was the one who set the tents on fire that night and told the gargoyles who to grab. Every day I was in your army, I did all I could to hurt you. Oh, the things I would gladly do to you, and it would be a thousand of what you deserve. <laughs> she hides her face in her hands. When I was eight, I was auctioned off like livestock. They used to stick to train me to obey like livestock. Did the Apalans Mendiv help me? Of course not. Even when we passed through a Mendivian city, none of these warriors are good lifted. A finger to set me free. Slavers aren't demons after all. Nero looks up and stares at you with eyes red with tears. The first time I came to the wound, I wasn't seeking adventure. My owner dragged me down the leash. You think the demons bribed me? I was happy to betray him. Without a shadow of doubt, expecting nothing in return, I poured a sleeping potion into their soup pot, opened the gates and waited for the demons to come and tear them all to pieces, and me along with them. I didn't care, but the demons saw the real me. They made me a cultist. They offered me a chance for revenge. Oh... What we do if I let you go? Let me go, why would you? No, you mean seriously? Ha 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 You think I'll thank you for your generosity and devote the rest of my days to taking care of homeless puppies? I'll continue exacting my revenge and that's what I'll do on others if not on you. I'll feed as many crusaders as I can to demons before I face the sword of someone less forgiving than you. She spits at your feet. Oh, gosh. She is a very hateful little gnome. <laughs> so my choice between good, lawful, chaotic, or finish her off. Um, I'm pretty sure she probably doesn't have a very good gear on her. I might just imprison her. We'll not kill you here. You'll be locked up and have to think about what to do with you. Yeah, I'll go for law for It's part of my alignment anyway. Why chains can't repair a maimed soul? The crow on Ember's shoulder looks at Nero sternly, unlike her owner. She obviously approves of your decision. Do whatever you want. You can't skip the demons. Your head will be on Baphomet's altar tomorrow, if not today. Oh, she's so lovely. She's so nice. I'm going to write around for tea in Dresden when she gets back. Right, so there's a big chest here, let's loot that up. Can't hide from me. Perception check as well. Yeah, loads of shit. Okay. Come on, at least Stalton must have had something good on him. Take that. 
I wonder where I put her. Do you reckon I just put her in like a bag or something? Because she's so tiny. <laughs> oh, what we got here? I got a glaive. Got a full plate. Got a nice belt. Got a helmet and a cloak. He has some good gear on him. Nice. I wonder if I killed her, we got some good gear from her as well. I don't know if there's anything else to do on this level. I think I've pretty much checked out everything I can. Uh, let's check out that gear quickly. Right, so the glaive I've got is Soul Share. Whenever the wielder is plus three, Admantine Glaive kills the target with it. It summons the demon until the end of the fight. Only one demon can be summoned per fight. If the demon was already summoned, every subsequent kill heals it for 1d8 plus 5 HP and gives it a stacking plus one bonus on attack rows. Let's open this up because I can't really see anything else. Uh, where, where was I in here? Yeah. Uh, stacking one plus bonus attack rows, depending on the HP of the killed enemy. Summoned demon could be a Babu, a Marilith, or a Balor. This weapon cannot be wielded by lawful good characters. That would have been pretty good on Sealer, actually. But yeah, it can't be used for lawful good characters. So who the fuck do I use that on if I'm not using it myself on a main? Uh, yeah, at my time, plus three. That was actually really strong, that weapon. That's a shame. That's the shoot. And the armor, we've got Carapace here. Let's open this up. Okay, so Carapace, Mithril, Enhancement plus two. Yeah, Mithril, Silver, blah, blah, blah. This armor gives a plus two enhancement as two armor class. The armor check penalty of magic armor is second by one compared to ordinary armor of its type. Right, okay, I guess it's uh, fairly decent. I'll see if there's anyone that can use it. Right, so we have found a contender for the Carapace. So we don't have the black armor anymore, unfortunately. But his AC has gone up to 31 from 29. And yeah, this is pretty strong all around. All right, so we've got a belt of physical form here, plus two. This belt grants us where a plus two enhancement of bonuses to decks and constitution bonuses of the same type usually don't stack. It might be quite useful on a lot of my characters because everyone uses decks and constitution. And then the headband is headband of inspired wisdom. I think I've got like 500 of these. Jesus Christ, okay. And I've got another cloak of resistance off him. Okay, so how do I get up here? Do I just... Oh, Where do I go now? Do I have to just crawl the way back down again? Can I not just jump over the balcony like she did? <laughs> I guess not, I'm not a demoness. She literally like just ran down it like it was nothing. Or jumped down it. Uh, okay, so let's uh, try and head back out again. So tell us main floor, let's go. Commander of the Crusade has managed to overthrow 70 years of demonic rule in Dresden and restored the Sword of Valor to its rightful place. Damn right he did. Will the commander be able to defend the banner she has won with such a valiant effort? Obviously. Uh, okay, cool. So, a sudden ascent is a perilous moment for any military leader. Yesterday, the commander was in charge of a small fighting force, the vanguard of Medevian army, as it completes a risky mission to something, something, something. Oh, cutscene! Knight Commander! <laughs> I know you have not had time to sit in on any council meetings in recent days. You've been so busy restoring order in Dresden that you've barely found time to sleep. Yeah, you know. You know. However, there are some matters that require your attention. I am ready to report if you have a moment. Evil, this better not be more of your prophetic whining. <laughs> Can we just let have things to do? Uh, Alright, I'm listening. Thank you, Knight Commander. Every death is an irretrievable loss, but your leadership has minimized such losses as much as possible. Tell me something I don't know, Arabeth. Morale is high among the Crusade forces. Damn right it is. The battle for Dresden went brilliantly. Your party attacks the demon commanders, cutting off the head of the enemy forces. We suffered some losses, but nevertheless, it was a triumph. Queen Golfrey has been notified already and sent her messenger with a letter for you and a royal reward. So we got Cloak Resistance plus three, really? God, she's cheap. In any case, we would never have won if it weren't for your amazing powers. The moment you raised the Sword of Valor over the Citadel, the light of it must have been visible all the way back in Mendev. And the banner itself, it changed after coming in contact with you. Anyone else would call it sacrilege. I don't know what to make of it myself. It's surprising and strange. Thank you. I have that effect. You have changed, Commander. Both on the outside and on the inside. And the power you have, it frightens me. As a paladin and leader of the Eagle Watch, I must seek out and destroy the blight of corruption in the ranks of the Crusaders. But as a soldier, I see that you're winning. You are leading us to victory. 
Anyone who stands against you will only be playing into the hands of the demons. That cannot be allowed to happen. Hmm. You're right, I also have doubts about the right, rightness of my path. Lawful, your duty is to carry out my orders not to question them. Evil, anyone who stands against me will die, no matter which side they are fighting on. Bear that in mind next time you think to criticise my methods. We win at any cost, even if we have to sacrifice our scruples and our souls to it. Evil! Understood, Commander. Eva presses her lips into a hard line, but doesn't dare to argue. She gives a subdued curt response. <laughs> yeah, you stupid little bit. We won the battle for Dresden, but this war is far from over. The demons know our true strength, so we must brace ourselves for a merciless counterattack. They will do everything they can to gain control of the city and destroy you personally and all of us along with you. The only good news is that cultists make up more than half of their forces, so they will have to march the same roads as our fighters. If they were all demons, they could appear here instantaneously and lay siege to the city. Praise Iomade for small mercies. Yeah, praise Iomade. I'm on my day. Wherever that is. We're moving out from the city of eyes and the threshold fortress. Scouts are reporting that for now we don't stand a chance of tearing through the defense and launching a counterattack. We can only gather our forces, rebuff their attacks, and wait for the right moment. Unfortunately, other hostile groups keep appearing out of nowhere. And on top of all that, Minago is still prowling around somewhere out there. Anevia is trying to find out where that abyss scum has run off to. Maybe she's already got some leads. You know, I want to change her name to Captain Obvious. She just point out the obvious to me every two seconds. Luckily, we are not alone. Mendev is with us. Queen Galfrey has sent us the first reinforcements. They've just entered the city. Oh, nice. More pawns. Besides, news of your victory is spreading through Avistan. I'm sure that crowds of new volunteers will soon be pouring into Dresden, inspired by your feet. Thank God. And that's very good news. Because we're going to need troops. Here is a brief report about the main problems we're currently facing. Era shows you a sheet of paper with a list of four items. Demons with special powers, secret path, missing patrol, and dragon. What can you tell me about demons with special powers? Remember that Nabasu that attacked our camp? He had powers that no ordinary demon should have. No? I don't fucking remember that. Do I? Ever's voice is very calm, but you can tell she's working hard to maintain her composure. No, I don't remember that. It is not the only demon of its kind. We keep receiving reports about similar monsters. All isolated cases for now. But it's possible that in the future, we will see entire squads, if not armies of them. Did you say Nabesu or Babesu? Did she, was she talking about the flying gargoyle or the, the whole person power? Because I do remember that guy. We must find out where they're coming from. Find the source of their power and destroy it. If we don't... They will crush us before long. Even you can't defeat an entire army of such monsters. That's it, I'm killing her. How dare she? I think Pop, what are you talking about? We can usually spot armies of demons in advance, as their hordes march along the grey road from eyes or threshold. But sometimes packs of them appear out of nowhere. They're managing to avoid our scouts somehow and sneaking into our territory. If we don't solve this problem, we cannot attack. The demons will just appear at our backs, block off the gorges, and cut us off from Dresden. Yeah, that would suck. Anevia is trying to find out how the demons are getting into our territory, but she hasn't succeeded yet. Talk to her. She will tell you more about what she's doing. There's a patrol missing. Yes, it disappeared without a trace during a mission. We didn't even find any bodies. Maybe someone abducted them, or there's some natural threat in the area. We can't rule out the possibility of desertion, either. Hum. The troop was patrolling the southern road out of the city. The last surviving settlements of Sakura lie in that direction. But after the siege of Dresden, contact with them was lost. Hardly any of the inhabitants survived once the demons invaded the area. That's where I started the search. A dragon? What dragon? As if we didn't have enough problems with demons already. Now there's a wild dragon in the vicinity. Luckily, it's not part of the demon army. If the demons had a dragon on their side, it could pose a serious threat. Yeah, I know. It'd be like Game of Thrones. But there's very little food in the world wound, and the dragon doesn't seem to have a taste for demons and cultists. She keeps attacking small squads of crusaders. 
Picking off those who fall behind, ravaging supply trains. Hmm. The dragon's been sighted frequently in the sky, but we don't know exactly where her lair is. We have someone to help with this, though. Do you remember the oh, dwarf who bravely attacked the baler in front of the citadel during the siege? <laughs> he is back in the city, and he doesn't mind hunting this dragon, apparently. Go talk to him in the tavern. We might be able to help each other. That's Greybor, isn't it? That silly dwarf. Okay. Is that all for now? There are a few pleasant matters. At the Queen's command, the Crusaders who took part in the attack have had their pay doubled. And medals will be awarded to those who were particularly outstanding in battle. You know one of them. The Knight Elan from the Hound Hearts. No. He led a troop of Neurosian recruits and brought them to the main forces and later drew the demon's attention in the battle with the Baylor, allowing the wounded to be rescued. What? He, I don't remember him doing that. There is one more thing. As you know, there is a vast dungeon under Dresden. Oh. It's almost empty now. The only prisoner is Nora Dendawar, the traitor you caught. Hmm. We've temporarily placed the body of Staunton Vane in the dungeon. You slew him. What are your orders regarding his body? Anevia thinks we should burn it quietly and forget about it. Some want to see his corpse displayed in the square, but I don't think we should behave like demons and barbarians. He may have been our enemy, but he deserved to be buried as a knight. However, the decision is yours, of course. <laughs> Evil requires the lich mythic path. Oh, I have my own plans for that corpse. Let it stay in the dungeon for now. I will decide what to do with it. Bury Stalton as a knight. Burn the body quietly. Evil, display the corpse in the square. Uh, let's go for number one. Your own plans. <clears throat> as you wish. Ever frowns but doesn't dare to second guess you. <laughs> Commander. That day during the battle, I... Airbreath is hesitating. You can see the struggle on her face, as if she doesn't know whether to, she should say something else. No. My apologies. That is all, Commander. Thank you for your time. Giving a salute, Airbus turns around and quickly leaves. That was awkward. Alright. Same game as Impossible, I didn't try and say, but thank you for informing me. So this is all mine now! This is my city! Hot! Damn, baby! I knew I was going to become a king one day, or a queen. I mean, I'm male in real life. I think, at least I think I am. And I'm female in the game. Looking like a drow. I have my trusty schedule com Oh, he's over there. <laughs> and with that, I'm going to end part 33 there. Like, subscribe, I'm going to see if I can get to grips with controlling the whole kingdom in part 34. Take care!